I think rather than saying how close Fusion is, it's that I think we're at an inflection point where redoubling our efforts will really get us to the finish line on a time scale that matters. So it's like we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Zap has one of the very most interesting Fusion Core concepts out there. If they're successful, it might just be the most compact Fusion Core uh, out there. You know, I don't want to belittle the challenges remaining, but I think that if, if these challenges can be solved, this team and this idea are, are really uh, are very promising. So the challenge that Zap Energy is trying to address is the same challenge that the industry in general is facing and that we've been facing in the plasma physics community since, since after World War II, which is trying to harness plasma physics to bring it to a high density, high temperature object that can sustain a fusion reaction long enough to make commercial energy. The main challenge for harnessing fusion energy in a single word is confinement. Uh, you can do that in a star because they have this huge gravitational field and it keeps it there, you know, nearly forever. On planet Earth, it's really, you know, making a star in a bottle. So it's all about the bottle. We do magnetic confinement fusion, just like a large tokamak does magnetic confinement fusion. The difference is that we don't use magnets in order to generate the magnetic field. What we use is something called a Z-pinch. We pass giant current through that plasma and we generate a very strong magnetic field, which helps to confine and compress that plasma to get it to fusion conditions. And that plasma, when we exert the Z-pinch on it, if we can hold that for long enough, is a temperature and density and pressure that's strong enough to be able to actually get a fusion reaction. And when that fusion reaction happens, neutrons come off of that, that tiny little millimeter wide filament essentially a lightning bolt that lets off all of these neutrons, which go into a liquid metal blanket. Um, and that liquid metal blanket is what interfaces with the heat cycles for the, the downstream processes of the power plant. I mean, it's incredible to look at something that's three meters long and realize that it can generate 200 megawatts thermal. This is the most exciting thing I've, I've ever done, certainly. Commercializing fusion energy would be a huge event in human history. If humanity is flourishing 100 years from now, it's because we've solved fusion energy. But we don't have to wait 100 years to make that future happen. We can do it now. I like RPE's appetite for going after big ideas. Uh, that really resonates well with us here. Um, they know our tech really well and they know our team really well. And so it's been fantastic to work with them um, as we you know, try to translate scientific achievement into something that's now actually commercially uh, viable in the energy market. Uh, this could be ARPA-E's internet or ARPA-E's stealth technology, uh, something like that. And I, I think that's really what we're all rooting for. The time has probably come. Uh, something like Fusion that is truly carbon-free and globally scalable, uh, I think the time is here that we need something like this. We're building the energy generation paradigm for humanity in the future. And to be able to do that is incredibly exciting.